Welcome back. I'm joined by the Jamesville 8U All-Stars. They're all here to talk about their trip that's coming up later this month because they are state champs and they're headed to the Babe Ruth World Series. And there is a lot of fundraising, though, that goes into sending them there. These girls have worked so hard to get to where they are, so we want to make sure that their entire trip is covered. I believe they have a goal of $25,000 to send them there, so it's not a cheap trip, but they've gone to so much work and they're already doing a lot of fundraising efforts. So we want to talk about what you've already done so far and then also some of the events that you have coming up. If you want to, Amber, tell me about all of the efforts that these girls have gone to already to raise some money. So we've been having lemonade stands at the events downtown Williamson. We'll be there again this Friday night. We're having a golf tournament. We're having a yard sale this Saturday. Um, we've done cornhole tournaments. Busy. These girls have been working super hard to raise their money. <laughs> yeah, of course. And you're the assistant coach, Christy. Right. So you have seen firsthand everything that they put into getting here. Even if they weren't able to win those titles, right? We already know that they're hardworking. Right. They're great athletes. But um, tell me what it's like to be a leader of all of them. It's a great, um, it's a great feeling watching them um, make it this far, and um, as they've grown playing the sport, it's it's been phenomenal watching them and help you know helping them with their knowledge of baseball. I mean softball. Yeah, and, of course. Um, as their friendships and stuff like that have been great. To yeah, watch. it kind of becomes a family. Absolutely. I think. Yeah, and I I think we have a video that we can play if we can get it queued up. Uh, you you were at a had a lemonade stand set up and then there was a bit of a dance party. And can you tell me about how that happened? Yes, that was at the summer events downtown Williamson. They had live music and the girls took full advantage of <laughs> making lemonade and having a little bit of fun. Yeah, of course, mix the two together. Now, yes, who right. is it who had the cow print boots? There you go. Okay, I loved those boots. I loved the enthusiasm from all of you, though, in the video. If you ladies want to tell me about what it's like to sell the lemonade, how has the community been? Have you made some great sales? Um, we have had a lot of fun selling lemonade, and I really hope that the more adventures we have with selling will just be fun and full of happiness. Of course. How, have you had happiness already? Lots sure of fun have. already? What about some of you over here with the microphone? So you have a yard sale coming up this Saturday. I believe you have other lemonade sales as well. You're busy. Do you ever get tired? Yes, we get tired a lot. Get tired a lot. Okay, so <laughs> what do you all do when you want to take a break? <laughs> I'm guessing you don't take many breaks is what it sounds like. Okay, no breaks, just hard work. Okay, so let's talk about the tournament that you're going to. Uh, this is coming up later this month. When is it happening? So we have to be there on July the 26th and we'll be there through August the 4th and it's in the Treasure Coast, Treasure Coast of Florida and it's actually a coincidence because we're from Martin County and then we are going to Martin County, Florida. Oh, so that's funny. <laughs> we're, we're excited to go and the girls are excited to go have a good time. Yeah, and this is something though that costs money. I mean, you have to pay just for the where they need to stay alone, but also for all the meals that come along with right. that. Um, so what do you say to the community to encourage them to give? Why is it important for everyone to be involved in helping them go to the World Series? Just helping these girls achieve their dreams and they're going to grow up in the softball community, hopefully play school ball and just continue to grow and hopefully can have their love for the sport grow with them forever. Yeah, I think that's something yes. that even whenever they go, Christy, they'll probably come away with memories Absolutely. regardless of how things turn out. So Absolutely. We should all be part of helping out with that. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. And we thank everyone that has supported yes. us um, yeah, of this course. far. A lot of involvement from the community. So uh, you have a yard sale coming up this Saturday, right? Correct. Okay. Tell me it's about that. Okay. So it's um, all of us and other people outside in the community have donated things um, to put in this sale. Um, it's just a big yard sale. Has um, We'll have spots that are donation only, so whatever you would like to donate to the team. And then there's stuff that will be marked with prices, um, but it's gonna be at the Janesville Ballpark um, from seven to 12 on Saturday morning, um, the 15th. And um, we'll also have our lemonade and Perfect. bake sale items out there. Awesome, and if you wanna meet these smiling faces, will they be there? We Some hope to them? have most of them there. Okay, yes. at least a yes. few of these smiling faces. If you're yes. lucky enough to meet a portion of them, They've just been delightful, so well behaved, and congratulations on everything you've accomplished so far, and best of luck with getting to your fundraising goal. Thank you all so much for being here. We have more great stuff coming up on ENC at 3, so we'll send it to break.